Another interesting game moving forward from last week is the North Dakota State Central Arkansas game. And it's not because this is a blockbuster matchup and everyone's like, oh man, like one of these guys is gonna win the national title. I mean, they can't, they're not even the FBS. But they have, or North Dakota State has, a quarterback in Trey Lance who's considered a first round pick. Most people have him as consensus top 15. He's considered to be the third quarterback that's gonna come off the board. So they had a showcase game just for Trey Lance to improve his draft stock. How do you think he did, Shub? He didn't seem to do all that bad. He wasn't overly impressive, I would say. Judging by his stat line alone, he went 15 of 30, threw for under 200 yards, had two touchdown passes and a pick. But on the ground, he looked pretty impressive. He led the team in rushing, and he also got two touchdowns um, on the ground as well. So it's pretty easy to see why a lot of these experts really like Trey Lance um, as a passer just because of the physical traits, but also as a runner too. See, one thing I noticed, as a passer, he's got a very strong arm. Now, he does need to work on that accuracy a little bit. He did make some nice throws in that game, but 15 of 30 against a team like Central Arkansas, I mean, come on now. And with a pick, it's it's not going to cut it. I know it was one game, not a lot of, it's, it's hard with one game, you know, like you usually in the season, you progressively get better, you get warmed up a little bit, but that's not going to cut it. He has to develop in that aspect of his game. But as you said, he looked impressive as a runner. He was very twitchy in the backfield. Whenever he was about to get sacked, he was able to avoid it. Very good pocket awareness. And he was able to find the holes. And he's got those long strides. He's a strong dude. He can run the ball. And that's why he scored two rushing touchdowns. So Trey Lance is definitely one of those interesting players. He reminds me a lot of Josh Allen, but a little bit stronger. Yeah, you can see why you could uh, compare Trey Lance to Josh Allen because of not only the physical traits, but also the fact that they both came from small schools and they didn't really have that much uh, higher competition to compare themselves to the QB prospects with. But Trey Lance, as of right now, he is the consensus third best quarterback behind Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields. He could be taken in the top 10. He seems to be, as of right now, a consensus lock to be taken in the first round. But who knows? We'll see. I think it was very cool and interesting that North Dakota State is playing one game this year. That game against Central Arkansas is sort of a showcase game, if you will, for Trey Lance. I think that was very cool of North Dakota State to do that, and it's something that you don't really see that much. I love that they did that for Trey Lance. Uh, that's what all schools should do. You should do that for your players if given the situation. Do everything in your power to help your players succeed. I love that North Dakota State did that for Trey Lance. Kudos. Claps to him. Claps to him. Now, one more thing I would like to discuss is this QB class and how stacked it is to this current point. We have, what, five or six QBs that are getting first round consideration at this point. And it's, it's gonna be interesting to watch. We have your Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, Trey Lance. We have Lo um, Kyle Trask and, Kyle Zach, Trask Wilson and Zach Wilson at BYU. Yeah, we have, we have so many different guys right now that are getting first round consideration. So this draft is gonna be so interesting, especially if these guys keep up this level of play. This draft could be similar to the 2018 draft where there was a bunch of quarterbacks, Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, Josh Rosen, Lamar Jackson, all got taken in the first round. And there was so much variance and uncertainty to see where those guys went. So this year could be similar to that in some regards. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. What's going to be interesting for sure is seeing who's going to go for their future quarterback and who's going to who's going to kick someone to the side. But anyway, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Check us out on the podcast. We talk about all this stuff more in depth and we appreciate all your time and considerations. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Shout out North Dakota State. Go Bison.